hello everyone welcome to another video my name is Sanjay Prakash and today in this video I will tell you another important topic here the topic is about how to get certified or how to be a Microsoft professional in your subject matter right how to be a Microsoft certified professional before when you work in a project you work in different requirements right you have different types of requirements like you have to configure something you have to customize many things so so many work is there administrative work is there also in any projects so like that when you work in a different projects you might get uh, the concept that we should get notified right we should get notified by other peers or managers or your organization so how to get notified so in my perspective in my perspective to get certified is the only way that people will notify you so today in this video i will discuss about the steps that how you can get certified in microsoft technology whichever technology you are working on that doesn't matter but if you want to be get certified you should follow in these three processes first you have to decide that whether which technology or which technology is most appropriate for you i will tell you about the context of dynamics 365 and power platform and if you want you can choose azure also so the first step to be get certified is to get training on the subject matter when i'm telling about subject matter it's about whether you want to be a dynamics 365 technical consultant or dynamics or microsoft azure developer or power platform developer like that right so you have to choose a technology first so that you will get training right you have to get training on that technology if you want to be dynamics 365 if you want to be going uh, you know if you want to be a dynamics 365 consultant you have to learn dynamics 365 like that you have to learn power apps if you want to go in power apps stream right like that first choose the subject matter or the technology that you want to learn so first choose the technology then you get training there are two ways that you can choose training one is free training another is paid training right microsoft has already enabled the technology learnings in microsoft learn portal right if you go to microsoft learn you can see the first point microsoft learn uh, the site name is docs.microsoft.com and learn if you click on this learn you can search here uh, click on browse full catalog and here you can search any technology that you want to learn right and these are the learning modules that you can go through and uh, learn yourself right so as i told you that this is the first thing that you have to uh, think on right first you get training on the subject matter then you can follow either pre-learning using microsoft website or if you want to go for live training or live instructor led training which is a paid training and uh, you can uh, go for any trainer if any microsoft certified trainer it's better to go for certified trainers because they have more uh, you know more grip on the technology and the instructional uh, style of teaching right the next thing is project work is important just learning the concept is not important rather learning the uh, learning the concepts through the project requirements real world project requirements is important so i always recommend if you are learning something learn through project requirements what are the practical concepts that we learn in different projects right so first thing is choose your technology get training whether it is free or uh, paid and uh, also mandatorily learn the project requirements in details right this is the first point to get certified and the number two is plan for certification once you got the whole idea and complete idea about the technology that you are searching for or you are uh, you know adhering to then you have to plan for certification if you are in dynamics 365 plan for dynamics 365 certifications if you are in a power platform uh, plan for power platform or azure certification as as you want right now you have to first choose a role right because there are many roles available in this technology space you can be a developer you can be a functional consultant or you can be a you know administrative work or administrator like that 
so first you choose the role so also i will tell you here whenever you are planning for a certification you can go to the microsoft site docs.microsoft.com and click on certifications you can click on browse certifications here in the screen and you can search by role here right it's better to search by role because it will give you more options to choose correct certification for your career or role you can see your administrator ai engineer business owner business analyst right so first choose your technology i have chosen my technology let's say dynamics 365 if you are working on dynamics 365 and want to be a microsoft certified dynamics for professional then you have to choose the technology first then you have to choose your role let's say you want to be a developer in dynamics 365 then you can see these are the certifications available nine results are there right pl 100 pl 600 right so these are the certification that are available now these include exams also now if you want to uh, filter by certifications you can click on this type certifications and you will get this right so one is dynamics 365 associate finance and operation then microsoft certified power platform app maker associate then power platform architect and certified power apps developer associate right if you click one by one you will get the complete agenda of this uh, learnings and you can learn free using microsoft learn but sometimes people love to learn uh, you know um, uh, through live instructor led so that uh, most of the things are clarified there and that is also paid uh, you know uh, paid training now you can see here this certification microsoft certified power apps and dynamics 360 developer associate requires two exams one is pl 900 and this is the pl sorry this is mb 200 and this is replaced by pl 200 right you have to do pl 200 and you have to complete microsoft power apps dynamics 365 developer which is mb 400 or which is replaced by pl 400 because mb 400 is expired so the point here is once you have you know got complete training on the subject matter that you want to uh, follow going forward you have to plan your certification through your role that is expected by you what role you will be aspiring for in your career then you have to practice certification exams online just learning things getting training and planning for certification doesn't sufficient sometimes so you have to understand what type of uh, certification questions are coming in uh, real world i mean in a real exam right so to do to do that you have to go to I, I always prefer one website which is called as examtopic.com you have to go here in the exam examtopic.com i'll tell you it is uh, exam topic.com and this exam topic.com is a collab collaborative platform or website where um, many people give their experienced you know experience questions whatever they have experienced what type of exams they have uh, faced and what questions they faced that are available here right you can search the certification uh, code here let's say you want to perform pl 900 you can search pl 900 now you can uh, click this option and you can click on go to pl 900 questions now you will see here most of the questions looking like uh, real questions right so you have to practice all these questions on your own after getting training right it's not that you didn't get training and you start working on practicing these questions it's, it's not a you know uh, effective one so get complete training and after you plan your certification you practice the questions that you are preparing for right now the third thing is schedule exam and appear exam then get certified so once you have practiced the questions of a specific certification you have to uh, you have to go to microsoft side and schedule the exam you have to go to the let's say you want to uh, go to pl 200 exam and you want to uh, schedule exam then you can click on the schedule exam and it will ask you to log in your microsoft account and it will uh, then you can practice right so this is how you can uh, be get certified and you will be treated as a microsoft certified professional so thank you for watching this video i hope it helps in many ways and it, it, it you will be get certified quickly thank you for your time